I believe stewardship is one of the primary prerogatives of well, of everyone on the planet, and in particular Christians, because we are, we believe, because of our beliefs, that that we are, in fact, sort of stewards of God's creation, that he sort of put us as tenders of the garden, if you will, and that we are, yes, to enjoy God's creation, but not to abuse it. And I think that right now, Christians are beginning to awaken to the fact that we can't continue the lifestyles, especially those of us in, in, in the Western world, we can't continue these kinds of lifestyles um, unchecked because our lifestyles are impacting the poor around the world. And one of the primary calls to Christians in Scripture is to care for the poor and also to care for the, the, the natural world. Uh, you, you know, there's a scripture where God says, you know, blessed is the one who cares for the life of his animal. And, and I think that when we look to the animal world that God loves, you know, God created the animal world in, in Genesis and said it is good. And, and so we have to believe that the animal world is good in and of itself in God's sight. And when we do things that make life miserable for animals, I think that we will be held accountable for that. And it's, it's more of a question of how we do things in addition to what we do. This, by the way, keeps human beings at the pinnacle of responsibility. Some people think that, you know, well, that, does that mean that humans are no different than animals? And I think, you know, perhaps a Christian distinctive is that we do think that humans are different in some sense than the rest of the animal world, maybe not so much in what our bodies are made out of, but in terms of our responsibility to, to God, he's given us dominion, if you will, is what the scriptures teach, but not a dominion of, of dominance to sort of create oppression for the rest of the, of the earth, but rather a, a, a responsibility to oversee and to make sure that this garden is being tended well. And I think when we sort of take on that hat of responsibility, it puts a whole new spin on things. And we have to look around and say, you know, are we using our energy resources in a way that's compassionate and wise toward the rest of the earth? Are we, you know, what about the food that we eat? How is it produced? You know, are the workers being treated fairly who are helping produce our food? What about the animals that we eat? Are they being treated in the, well in these big factory farms according to the principles that God has given them for their own natural behaviors and so forth? Are we being compassionate toward animals? Are we being compassionate toward the habitats that animals need? Are we being compassionate toward the poor and the way we live in the rich parts of the world? Are we even being aware? I mean, part of this, most Christians, would, if they're told about these problems, they do care. But many Christians have not gone to the effort of learning about what's going on and, and actually taking it upon ourselves, I should say, to find out what's going on in the world in terms of the environment and stewardship. And I think it's a prime call for Christians to, to wake up and do that.